There you guys are. All right, so. Basically, last night I actually left my camera in my trunk. So just giving you guys like a little warning of that. Normally that would suck and the battery would be dead, but here it is. I'm so happy I bought new batteries, honestly. It's a game changer. Now I just gotta remember to take that one out of the trunk so I can charge it so then I don't have three dead batteries. Well, I'll have one, but eh. But in today's video, we're going to be installing something a subscriber recommended like a long ass time ago. And I actually really wanted to do this, but I was waiting for winter, seeing that it'd be cold and I could hide myself in my car with the heat running and everything. But instead of doing that, I bought it already because I really wanted it. So this is the Zuji Automotive steering wheel cover, covered in a lot of Chinese writing. That makes no sense. And we're gonna unbox it on the trunk. Oh, and I have no tripod because we're using it for a Halloween decoration. I'll show you guys that later. Ta-da! This is what we want. It's my steering wheel cover. We're gonna get it dirty by putting it on my car, but I don't care. Oh yeah, look at that. You can definitely tell what that is by looking at it. It definitely doesn't just look like a giant O. And we got supplies. Now, I ordered this in a custom color, so I've got dark gray with like a really light ultra blue kind of leather, but there's dark gray suede and there's black suede. But they told me that the suede looked kind of pink. They could have just said it was brown. Like, this is not like a camera thing where the camera looks weird, it's, it's brown. So I'm gonna find a way, I actually kinda like that, I'm gonna find a way to put it in the interior with the brown at the top. Because my dash I made modular so I can replace the gray suede with anything I want really easily. So if I technically if I wanted I could do the blue color too. But And there's another thing I want to get. There's uh, quilted leather floor mats. Uh, I might get those in brown so it matches this whole thing. Plus this matches the wood trim anyway so it kind of, it works. It really does work. Alright so eventually I'm going to have to find the spot to put this camera with no tripod in the car so you guys can see. Let's just look at the instructions real quick. Okay, now it's time to find the spot for the camera. Let's line this up. So you see these notches here? These are actually put to the stock notches of leather, which I'll give you guys a close up actually, even though I put you in, uh, do I want to move you from that spot though? All right, I will. So like, just giving you guys a close up of this steering wheel. It doesn't look good. And I know I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it, but it is. Come on camera. Even not focused, it doesn't look that great. So we've got like major wear here through the leather, major wear on this. It's kind of like rough and nasty feeling. It's pitted all along the top, which I think you guys can see now, but it, it doesn't look that good. My steering wheel looks like old 10 year old car. So we gotta fix that because I fixed the 10 year old dash problem. Now it's time to fix the 10 year old steering wheel problem. So I'm gonna put you guys back in that perfect spot again. All right, so this, this honestly is gonna be a super easy install. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna need to speed shit up or anything. So we're gonna need tape definitely on these flange things. I think they'll hold well anyway, but just in case, we're gonna do it pretty much everywhere I'll hold it. So like here, definitely at the bottom because it curves in. We're gonna do the back of the bottom as well. So I think this should be enough thread. I'm also gonna be doubling it up, so I, because I don't, that's the only way I know. You know, in Home Act, I was actually pretty good at sewing, but I just, I don't know what I'm doing.
nothing seems the same Always on the go now Never seem to slow down You've been playing games You don't pick up the phone now When you know I'm never home now Tell me when am I, when am I gonna see you Cause I've been missing your body Right beside me Tell me when am I, when am I gonna see you The steering wheel feels so much better, it looks so different, and my car's battery's dead from listening to music without actually starting the car. Let's go jump this thing, because I doubt. Ooh! I didn't have to jump it! Oh, that feels so nice. The suede, I think, is actually pretty high quality. The leather itself, I don't think is the best quality in general, but it's definitely the suede. It feels so good, so I definitely recommend the suede over leather, just saying. Not only that, but it also stretch over the steering wheel better. That's why the majority of this is suede, because I already knew that it would stretch better. And the leather gets like all these lines at the bottom of the wheel. Still though, for 60 bucks, it was either this or I spent $500 on a brand new steering wheel. I'm so much happier with this for now, just because $500 is a lot of money for me, being on a college budget. So being able to buy this wheel, this steering wheel look at least, for 60 bucks is definitely better. And I got to choose my own colors. Just like I said before, warning, if you get dark gray, it'll be brown. It won't actually be gray. They said it looked pink in the sunlight, it's brown. There's no way around that, it's just brown. If you can still hear the computer, I just finished editing this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. That steering wheel is actually better investments on my car, just because the old steering wheel felt so gross and old. And it was so comfortable, and actually, we've had a few cold days since I've installed that, and it is a lifesaver because my steering wheel is nice and warm really quickly. But it's also a problem in the heat because the suede is actually like, ugh, it's warm. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm trying to get all these videos out for you guys, and I actually have not filmed any ends for them. So, not for this video, not for the video later this week, which I have to give my final opinion on still. And the video for next week, I haven't even filmed yet. But I'll let you guys know right now, I actually do have a newer tripod. I got this new carbon fiber one. All nice. It's got full carbon fiber legs that are real carbon fiber. And then for my cameras, oh, that sucks. Well, YouTube gets to see it first. The tripod just fell on my phone and shattered it. Oh, that's brutal. Honestly, I think I'm just going to end on that. That's, that's just some shit luck right there. Alright, so yeah, I'm ending it right there. That's, that sucks. 
That definitely does suck, because now I'm going to have to go get a new screen. But, at least I'm getting these videos out for you guys. And maybe I'll just get a new phone, honestly, at this point. I don't know. I probably can't afford one. But. That's, that's a kicker. That's fun. Well, my new tripod just killed my phone. It works still, it's just shattered into bajillion glass pieces all over my desk. But, oh well, shit happens. Peace out, and be legendary. So baby, pull me close up in the